Hi, welcome to The Passionate Spinner. My name is Tracy and this is my Knit Eat Recap video. So last weekend I went to Lyon, which is in France, and um, you probably knew that, but you know, uh, <laughs> I spent a wonderful weekend with my friends there and uh, I drove with my car for two reasons. You know, I could have gone by train, but I get really motion sick in the train. I could have flown, but I am so afraid of flying that I avoid it whenever possible. So I drove and um, it took 12 hours there and 11 back. Driving time on both of those occasions were nine hours. <sighs> Not really what I wanted to do, <laughs> to be honest. Nine hours of driving time in one stretch, you know, we, I did breaks, you know, but still nine hours is a long time for me. If you're in America or Australia, you're like nine hours. <laughs> it's a normal Tuesday. But for me, a nine hour drive is just like one of my worst nightmares. But I did it anyways. So the good thing was when I left here, I left last Thursday, I drove to my friend Merit's house who is the organizer of Swiss Yarn Festival. And she's amazing. She's a designer and you should definitely check her out. So I went to her house, picked up my friend Nara, who's the founder of Knit Leaks, which you should also check out. And we drove together for the rest of the drive, you know? So from me to Merit is about three hours and then nine on top of that. <laughs> no, not nine. We spent two hours at her house. Oh, wait doesn't matter it was a long drive a long ass drive on the way down for the last hour in Switzerland before entering into France for another two hours before you know for normal driving it started to rain and it also got dark so it was super heavy raining and it was dark and I've never been there so I was fried when we arrived in Lyon but we made it you know we made it there Thursday then Friday we had a day we're just, we, we just existed, you know, we went to, uh, to the town, we had food, we met with Meret who arrived by train, we met with Julie who also arrived by train and we had a wonderful evening um, going out for food and just had a great time, right? Saturday and Sunday was the festival and um, I met so many people, I had a fantastic time there and I bought stuff. Because of course I did. It was a festival. Hello. Um, so here is my backpack. And yes, I made this. And yes, I'm really proud of it. I'm super happy with it. Um, this is a free pattern in German with a complete YouTube tutorial to go with it. I think it's called The Other Backpack. I'm not sure though. I don't remember. But I made this during lockdown. And this used to be a pair of jeans belonging to my husband and now it is my backpack and I'm super happy with it so in here I have all the things that I bought because I carried this with me so you know let's open it up I'm gonna open it up and lay it next to me so I can um, t show you what I got okay on top I have books or a book and a magazine so the first thing I can show you is this magazine here which is Yetra Nitz episode, episode <laughs> issue number three. And this was a gift by my friend Soraya, who is the editor and, you know, person who made this happen. So I got this one. And I also bought the Neons and Neutrals book by Leine my, uh, Publishing that's been curated by Amy from La Bienami. So... I got this one and um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. I have the other one as well and I really like the designs in these books. So it was there, you know, I was standing right next to it. I was like, oh yeah, I'll take you. So I did. Then, um, so Knit Eat this year was knitting, but also sewing and embroidery. And I got one sewing pattern from Lise Taylor and uh, it's called this I don't speak any French so I have no idea I think robe is a for is the word for dress 
right? Maybe. But I got this pattern and I really like it. I think it is very me, very much my style. And the pattern comes in French and English, which is good because like I just said, I don't speak any French. Um, so the way it is done is when you look at it from this side, it's French. When you open it up, you know, the instructions. And then if you flip it over and open it up from this side, it's in English. So I have the pattern in English for me to, you know, be able to do it. And I'm really happy with it because I really like it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought it. But, you know, very obvious. <laughs> I also got a bag from Lee's Taylor when I bought that pattern. It looks like this. And, you know, I'm going to use it as a project bag because we can never have too many project bags. Now, let's start with the yarns that I got gifted. I got gifted three beautiful skeins of singles. And they are from my friend Nara. And I need to ask her again who dyed these because I don't remember. She told me, but, you know, I don't remember. Sorry, but they are so pretty. I will definitely make a sweater out of these, like for sure. Um, <laughs> so that's that. And then for the things that I bought and got. So I also have beautiful yarn from Mayak. I mean, <laughs> look at that label. Isn't that so pretty? So here's Mayak yarn. And this is 100% cashmere. And it's gorgeous and soft and just perfect. Now, I didn't get too much stuff, I have to say. I'm quite proud of myself and my restriction. I think my favorite thing that I got is this skin here. It's Dark Omen Yarns. And it's just perfection. Look at it. I want to design something with this. I already have an idea, you know. Um, which makes me happy. <laughs> but isn't it so pretty? So this is 100% superwash merino. It's 400 meters fingering weight. The colorway is a one of a kind, which I love even more. And it is, like I said, by Dark Omen Yarns. Dark Omen Yarn, without the S, sorry. And um, yeah, it's gorgeous. Also, the dyer behind Dark Omen Yarn is Francesco, and he's great. So if you need hand dyed yarn, Go there. Then I have a skein of sock yarn. Kind of. It's also 100% superwash merino. This is for, from Sock Una Troca. I hope that's how you say that. And um, it's just, it's, you know, it's my, my fall palette. So pretty. This is the, the label, the dyers behind it. I'm so happy with everything I got, you know, but here, I mean, this is me in a skein of yarn. <laughs> this is by Feliz y Punto. And this is a sock yarn blend. It's like a 75-25. I do not know how to say that name of this colorway. I'm, I do not know. But this is gorgeous. It's green and brown and gray. But you know me in a skein of yarn and um and then we have this one here <laughs> which is a very different color it's actually the no it's the second thing i bought um this is araucania yarns and they were um there were i think two yarn shops or three yarn shops there as well as vendors who had different kinds of yarns and one of them had that had this so i got this one and um my son wanted to claim it, but I kind of wanted to make a hat of, out of it. I don't know yet. It's a uh, 75, 25, so I could just knit socks. I don't know. Now the actual first thing that I got was this here, and this is earth yarn. You know, those self-striping. So that's the first thing I got. And uh, guess what? That's it. That's all the yarn I bought. I am really proud of myself. 
The only other thing I bought is this. And I already realized that I did a I, I made a mistake here and the people who sold this to me did not tell me that I made a mistake, which I think is kind of not nice. But I have bought a fixed circular C knit needle from Shirotake earlier this year. I've knit something with it and I am in love. So I saw that this one booth where I got this yarn from had cables and needle tips and I decided yeah awesome my favorite needle size is three and a half millimeter because I use that for all of my fingering weight sweaters and most of the sweaters I do are fingering weight because everything else is just way too warm so I got the tips right and then I got two cables so for to make a 60 and to make a 80 centimeter needle so far so great but I just realized, like, before I started recording, I was looking at this, not the physical, but on the internet to get more. And there, I realized that the cables come in different sizes for matching better with the knitting needles. The cables I got are for thicker needles than the needle that I got. So these do not match, which makes me a bit mad because when I got these, you know, the people could have said, oh, have you seen? Did you realize? Do you know? But they didn't. So now I have two cables that I have absolutely no use for because they are for thick, thick needles. And I have needle tips that I cannot use because I don't have cables to go with them. Which sucks. So I need to order cables for this. And I don't really want to order tips to go with this because I don't use those thick needles because this I think is the size that you need for needles 5.5 millimeter and up which if I use those ones every three years that's a lot <sighs> yeah it's a bit of a bummer because, like I said, you know, they could have said, hey, did you know, do you know that these come in different sizes? They didn't. Mm. Okay, well, kind of change that now. So that is what I got. That's all I got. I'm really happy with that. So what else happened? I met a lot of people, a lot of wonderful people and um had great a great time with my friends you know nara and i spent the weekend traveling together and um Meredith was there and julie was there and soraya who is the you know publisher of this magazine and just so many people that i met it was a great time i had a wonderful time when i got back home i got back home on monday evening at around 8.30, I'd say. And I was fried. I was just so done. On Tuesday, I I existed. That's all I did. I just existed. I did nothing else. <laughs> because, you know, I'm like the introvertiest introvert you will ever meet. So I need to be... I need my quiet time. I need my alone time to function. And I was around people for five days. <laughs> So after that, and you know, a festival is always like so much stuff happening and so much things to take in. And uh, yeah, I needed a day to recover after that, which I already feel like that's great because I anticipated I would need the whole week, you know, to, to recover from that. I, I, if I say recover, it sounds like it's a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. I had a, an amazing time. I loved everything, but it's just things like that drained me you know the drive was very long t twice then I was around people like almost 24 7 and that just is very draining for me which doesn't mean it's a bad thing it's just a fact you know so um the good thing apart from having a wonderful time there is that now I feel super excited and motivated about about my job again and I felt like that after every festival I went to this year. I went to 
uh, I went to Swiss Yarn Festival in April. And when I came back, I was so motivated and so like happy about my life choices, you know, when it comes to my job. And the same happened after I went to Knit at Motoko in Mulhouse in May. And I just, these things give me so much energy and so much joy that it's so worth going every time, you know? So yeah, I'm super motivated. And if you watch my like normal podcast before or after this, you'll see that I already started designing something else and something new, not something else, something new. And um, it was something that I had the idea of doing this like last year, but then I just kind of lost steam and lost interest. But going to festivals, being with like-minded people, you know, being with my friends, it just always is like a boost, it's like a reset button in my brain. And that happened. My brain has reset and I'm super happy about my job again and about all the plans that I have and the things that I do. So yeah, I just had a great time and I'm super happy right now, which, you know, it's all that you could ask for really. So uh, I'm going to say goodbye to you. I had a fantastic time at Knit Eat and if you have the chance to go, you should. It was amazing. You know, there were so many vendors there, great food because, you know, it's about food as well. And the people, you know, great people. So I'm going to go. I hope you all have a wonderful time and I will see you in my next video. Bye.